What is up girls? Why is this crazy lady holding her computer into the camera? And why is there a color wheel on her computer? Is she taking me to art school? Yes, she is. Why? Because makeup is art. Makeup is just like painting. You want to neutralize some color? then you need the color wheel to do so. And that's what we do underneath our eyes. We neutralize that color. I don't want to cover that darkness up, okay? Then it'll be gray. I don't want to do that. I don't want to use a lighter color to make it gray. I want to neutralize, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a secret on how I match people's concealer perfectly and I give them the best color to neutralize that underneath their eyes. Okay, here we go. So if you have blue or purple, Okay, what you want to do is choose the opposite of what you have on your eye. Okay, so it'll neutralize that color and make it the most neutral tone you have. Okay, so if you have green or sallow skin, then you're going to want to go into a pinker tone concealer. Okay, now if you're using Unique The Touch Mineral um, Skin Perfecting Concealer, then you're going to go to a chiffon or organza, which is more pink toned. Okay, pink toned concealer for anybody who's more sale or green. Okay, that's why I use chiffon in the foundation because I look sallow and kind of greenish. Now, um, but I'm light, that Lebanese and Greek thing. I'm, I'm light skinned, but I have green undertones. So I need to brighten up just a touch. So now, if you have purple underneath your eyes, now that's a very common problem. If you have purple underneath your eyes, people will tend to go very bright and light and white and it turns gray, so it's awful. So what you wanna do is go to a yellow toned concealer, okay? So the yellow tone will be satin for a darker skin or taffeta. Um, now I use taffeta just because I have just a touch of the purple underneath my eye, just right here and here. I don't really need much concealer. In fact, until I turned about 38, I didn't wear it because I really enjoyed the color underneath my skin. There's a lot of things I don't cover and I just celebrate and use other products around that area to brighten. And you'll learn more of that while you hang out with me. So, now if you have redness, you're going to go green. If you have blue or purple, you're going to go yellow. If you're really, really blue, that really dark, deep blue underneath your eyes, you're going to want to take yellow or orange. Okay, now that's how I cover up tattoos. I make sure that all that blue of the tattoo is covered with orange lipstick first, and then I cover the tattoo. So that's why you see all these tutorials with the red or orange lipstick underneath the eyes first, and then you do your concealer. So what you want to do is pick the color with the most orange in it, okay? I happen to think that's chiffon. I think chiffon has more pinky orange, okay? And that, I'm talking about Unique, um, the Skin Perfecting Concealer, okay? That's the concealer I'm using right now. And I like to reference that so you guys will have something to go off of. So, that's why you wanna pick the super dupe, Super deep blue. I can talk. I can talk, right? Super deep blues. Okay, you're wanna, gonna want to go orange, orange or yellow. Okay, and a little more intense. So if it's really, really bad, yes, you can use an orange lipstick, um, something like Extravagant underneath there um, to brighten and neutralize all that blue, and then put something over top, um, like in a neutral tone, like taffeta or satin. Um, but I, I don't think you'll need that if you pick the right concealer. So I'm going to drop this color wheel now and I'm going to show you my concealer and how I apply it. I really love a blending bud for this application. Now I put just a touch on there and you can see that tiny little dot. Okay. And here's the area that most people are dark in right through here. Okay. And that is where we need to brighten up. And you're going to see a huge difference right away just in that area, okay? And this little point gets me right into that inside of my eye. And all I'm doing is dabbing. When you swipe your concealer, do you see how that brightened it up? God, I love this stuff. I really do. Tears in my eyes, but I don't want to mess up my concealer, so I'm not going to cry. All right. You see that bag? 
Watch out, 40, though. Watch out, 40. Here I come. Okay, I put a tiny little bit more. I have a feeling this is going to be too much. But that's why I like the blending bud, because it kind of holds the color right on the surface. So I can go over here and start using it here. So I don't know if you can see the difference here. I put a little bit there, but see how dark that was? And now it's brighter. Check it out. Much brighter, right? Much better. Just gets rid of that. Neutralizes that color. Okay. So there you go. There's concealer, y'all. Did you learn anything? If you did, please comment below and let me know that this was a good video for you guys. And if you learned anything. If you have questions, that's cool too because I'm here just for you guys. Q&A. Okay, I'm going to go rock out my life with my concealer. You guys let me know what you need, okay? Love you.